evening. Lots of inspiration and learning. You know, 19 years ago, I was a young stay-at-home mom with my three small children. And I said yes to the fruits and vegetables and berries in a capsule. I said yes to the franchise to help offset our cost of our family's product. I may not have understood everything right at the beginning, but I did know the power of whole food because I saw the change that happened in my own family. And then I knew that I had an ethical obligation to share that with others. That is what grew into the passion and purpose of what I'm doing today. And I love that I get to make a difference in people's lives and that I will forever be grateful that someone cared enough to share it with me. So today we know that people need to feel like their voice matters and you matter. And so we're excited tonight that we get to step into other people's stories and showcase our strength in loving people and changing lives. And so at this time, I'm honored, I get to pass it on to one that has mentored me, one that I love and admire dearly. And Cheryl, I'm going to pass it back to you. Thank you, and I love and admire you dearly as well. And thank you for that uh, input. Uh, we, as she said, it's something that we really enjoy from a community standpoint, as well as a health and a prosperity standpoint. And we like the mission and the journey as well. As we go into the summer months here, uh, you know, all kind of activities normally take place. We've had uh, a long time that we've been right here at home, but it looks like that's going to begin to open up. So we thought we'd have folks come on and just give you a few tips of things that they're doing uh, to really reach out, put their arms around others, you might say, to encourage them in good health and in prosperity if they should choose to be part of our mission. So I'm gonna go first. Uh, we're gonna talk about walking and wellness uh, with Courtney Shaw, who's an international marketing director and Ashley uh, DiMeggio. Did I say that correctly? Okay, so Courtney, I turn it over to you. Awesome. Ash, I think you're gonna start us off, sweet friend. Okay, yeah. Awesome. So yeah, for the last year and a half or so, we've been having to do everything um, pretty much virtually through Zooms and Facebook events. And um, it's been great. Luckily, we were accustomed to doing Zooms long before this pandemic hit. Um, but Courtney and I were having coffee a couple of weeks ago, and she and I were both just really missing that, um, that interaction with other people. And um, luckily, things started to open up here in North Carolina, slowly but surely. And we were brainstorming on um, fun ideas, things that we could do um, to meet with people outside where they would feel comfortable um, with a mask or without. Um, and then also being mindful that we are heading into the summer months where um, people typically have their children with them. So we were kind of looking for ideas where people could also bring their kids along and that's when we decided that we were going to kind of start up um, a walking and wellness group. Can you hear me? Sorry, yes. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hold on, let me unmute. <laughs> Sorry about that. My tarot garden's going, all kinds of stuff back there. Well, you know, and there's so many types of events that are a fun way for us to connect with people again. Like Ashley was saying, we want to connect with people. We're missing people, people with smiling faces. Um, and outside is a completely safe place for most people who feel comfortable in doing that. Um, and I love walking and wellness, but I just want to say this, like it can be anything, get creative with that. And Ashley is super, super creative. I love masterminding around this stuff. You know, maybe you have a ball party for moms and kiddos, you know, in the backyard and you have all kinds of balls for the kids to play around with while the moms make um, healthy, complete energy bites, right? There's so many ways that we can do this. So I just want to really quickly show you the how. Ashley talked about the why, you know, to get back together again in person, but the how is really simple. So what we want to do is draw, the draw to the event is typically the name of the event, right? It gets people excited, butts and guts or whatever you want to call it, right? Any way to get people excited about coming and do some, doing something different. We just want to make sure that you share um, that the event is sponsored or inspired by the Juice Plus Company. 
money. Um, and just so people know what they're coming to. Let people know that you're going to start at a specific time, especially if there's an activity involved. Um, and these events really should be on time, especially for those busy people that showed up for it, right? So I always like to do the first five minutes are meet, greet, and sign in sheet. <laughs> get that first five minutes. I like the sign in sheet because you can get their name, their phone number, and their email. And that way, if they want to order and you're out at a park, I mean, they might not have their wallets with them, right? But you have a way to send them a cart link so that they can place their order afterwards. Okay, so I'll share a little bit more about that in just one second. So I like to open these events with what to expect. Um, this is what we're gonna be accomplishing today. Thanks so much for being here. Just managing expectations. Share who we are. We're a community of people who are on a mission to inspire healthy living around the world. We're moms, we're dads, we're grandparents, we're professionals, healthcare professionals. And we're also people who just want to inspire other people to change their lives like Dr. Carol was sharing. So we wanna start that activity and the activity should be no more than about 20 minutes, all right? So again, what are they there for? Give them that 20 minutes. If it's a quick exercise class or a walking class, have it kind of mapped out, all right? I like to have two speakers ready to share their stories after the activity is over, about three minutes each and be sure that Woven into those stories are some juice plus info about the products that you like, the healthy starts for families, and maybe even a little research overview about what st studies that appeal to you. And then we, of course, give out complete smoothies because everybody loves those. Dr. Carol talked about those. Um, and you can either do that during story share or have it on a tray. I like to have the tray out so people can take it with a little card that shares what's in the smoothies just for allergies or dislikes, right? Make it a happy time. And then always have a close for the event, a call to action. If you're in a home or maybe in someone's backyard, of course, you can pass out order forms. That's always an option to share how Juice Plus is shipped and their options for ordering. Um, but if you're out in a park or public space, again, you can ask people to pull out their phones and um, give them the website so they can see their options. You can go through their options with them. And then of course, personally, I like to offer one-on-one -on -one conversations. I'm happy to help you find the best fit for you and your family. Just meet with me afterwards and um, we can do that together. Just be sure to let them know when your next fun event's gonna be and invite them to come back and maybe bring a friend. Um, maybe offer a gift for those who return with a guest. Um, just keeping it fun and exciting and making it a good time to get back together again. Cheryl? Thank you so much um, and such good info. And the thing is, if you look at our, you know, partner base, the people who share this uh, with others, uh, you know, we're, we're thousands of team members across the country, across the world, and huge amount of creativity. You know, people bring great skills to this business and they all have ideas of things that, you know, invite, uh, engage, encourage people to really look at not only what we have to author, offer, but to enjoy the process. So we're gonna go now to Beth Meyer. She'll have Shelby with, it, with her, uh, who is part of her team. And they're gonna talk about something that we call salad in a jar party. So Beth. We're looking for Beth Meyer. Hang on one second, Cheryl. Okay. All right. Shelby, I'm gonna unmute you. You're there. There she is. There she is. There you go. There you are. Um, can you hear, uh, am I, there you go. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Well, I just absolutely adore Shelby and she is the absolute queen of events and always has been. Shelby loves to be around people. And so during this time when it was tough to be around people, Shelby has been super creative, um, both during this time and previously, and now that we're coming out of it and she has two small little boys and she has one on the way, um, which is super exciting. But it's kind of fun to watch Shelby, even with, you know, whether she's been pregnant or babies in, you know, two babies and one in each arm, she still finds a way to do events, to be around people, to be really inclusive in her community and build that sense of community and connection because it's so important to her. And she's actually one of the reasons that I was inspired to even do this event that we've been doing for the last year 
take action Tuesday, make it happen Monday. Shelby was a big part of that inspiration because this community is so important and connecting with people even virtually. So Shelby, I'm gonna turn it over to you because there's no one better to talk about your events than you. All right, thank you. I'm so honored to be on here and talk. Thank you guys. I love everything Courtney just said too about events, I wrote it down. It's so funny how you can like, you can forget when I just host an event like a month ago. <laughs> I'm just like, oh yeah, that was a great thing to say. So thank you. Um, so I started doing events about two and a half years ago. I live in Grand Rapids. And so I didn't really have anyone around me to go to an event and see how it was done. It was truly just being on calls like this that I got inspired. And I was like, okay, I've never been to an event. I'm just going to host one at my house. I am so nervous. Beth helped me a lot too. I asked a zillion questions and it was just inspiring to be on an event like this and just say, I don't, I don't have to have all the answers. I just need to put something on the calendar and do it. So for a salad in the jars, that was a super easy one for me to start with, with not a lot of planning. Um, oh, my last name is Putnam, Shelby Putnam. Um, and so because of not a lot of planning and, you know, kind of being nervous starting out a couple of years ago, it worked out really good. And I was at a gym at the time and a lot of people just really loved, um, they really loved healthy <laughs> healthy eating, healthy living. And so it was really great to just get people over after our workout, um, create salads, do, um, do healthy living in a doable way after our workout. And then as far as the past year, um, we did a lot of Zoom calls in the spring and we did some meal prep Zoom calls where some people on my team, including myself, we would share recipes, um, and we would kind of do like a cooking show on Zoom. And so that was really fun to create community when we couldn't get together with people. Um, and I love being outside. So in the summertime, we love hosting events outside. Sometimes my salad in the jars, you guys, they're like 40 minutes long. Like they're so short, people are busy. Um, and sometimes they're an hour and a half to two hours. It just truly depends on the crowd, it truly depends on people's schedules. And I've learned to be flexible. Um, and Beth has taught me a lot about that. And so it's been really helpful knowing like, okay, tonight's gonna be a quick event. I'm gonna add just a really short little bit of value. And then, um, you know, they're gonna take something with them on the go. And sometimes we sit down, we have a snack. I kind of label it that way is it's a healthy, we're gonna have a healthy living event, making salads and talking after. It just depends on the feel that I'm going for. So Shelby, that's what I have. You're incredible. Uh, you know, one thing I want to say is that you build big for your events and I've never seen you have a small event. And while you're very flexible, whether there's babies there or you have to kind of, you know, work with what you have, you always have people. And the one thing I love is that you stay very focused on the task at hand and the task at hand is inspiring, healthy living, adding value and sharing Juice Plus and letting people know right up front that this is sponsored by the Juice Plus company. It's sponsored by you and your business. And you're very direct and very clear about that. And I love that. And I have seen you have events with 30 people in your backyard, whether it's babies and bubbles or burrito bowls, or, I mean, you just come up with some of the most fun ideas for people and you continue to build community. And as a QSSC on the way to SSC, you have an incredibly strong business and it's, you've built your business on, in events with events. That's how you've done it. And you did it because you didn't have community and you didn't have events. And I'm just so proud of you for what you've created because you now have a team of people working with you to do that. So thank you. Cheryl, we'll turn it back over to you. Thank you so much, Shelby. Okay, I had to unmute myself. <laughs> no, I wasn't, you weren't hearing me, but thank you both Shelby and Beth. And Again, you know, things that in a sense are a gift to people as you bring them together and they get to enjoy the community of like-minded, uh, healthy activities and events that uh, have a little something extra. I'm from South Louisiana, we call it Lanyep, that little something extra. It's not just, you know, uh, a get together for a meeting, it's a get together for a community for help, support, fun, and we like fun.
So and now we're going to go to uh, another couple of folks who are going to uh, share some good ideas with you as well. And it's going to be uh, a cooking demo. And I see Chandria there. So Chandria Singleton, uh, Charlene Woodruff, are you both with us? Uh, we'll turn I'm it over to you. <laughs> okay. So they're going to tell us what they've come up with. They, they look like they're cooking up something in the kitchen. Well, thank you, thank you, Cheryl. Charlene's the Charlene's cooking. They let me in the kitchen sometimes. So I'm a certified plant-based chef as well. My background is in radiologic sciences. I am Chandria Singleton. And Charlene, would you like to introduce yourself? Oh. Yes, I am Charlene Woodger from a chef. I have people doing work in my house, so I have on a surgical mask. Okay, well, what we do is every Sunday, we became very creative because actually before the pandemic, we were doing these virtual events anyway, because Charlene knows people all over the world. Uh, she knows everybody. And we wanted to reach more people. So we saw that our in-person events were, sorry, we saw that our in-person events were actually reaching a lot of people, but we thought to ourselves, we could reach more people. And we started having Zoom events and it started with 12 people. And then we found a way to reach more people. And we said, let's do a cooking show. Charlene and I both cook, she cooks more raw, I cook more soul food. And the issue we started running into was our clients love the shred tin, but they were having trouble cooking the meals up. So Charlene grabbed those cookbooks from uh, Juice Plus and we used the cookbooks, we didn't complicate it. And I'm gonna just briefly share with you one of the things that Charlene Charlene, would you like to tell them what are, I see you have some of the things in front of you. Yes, I just wanted to show you all, this is cauliflower. So this is for cauliflower rice. We're going to show you some other things, but this is raw. Raw has more enzymes and it has more nutrients if you don't cook it or don't cook it a lot. So this is uncooked. Just briefly, I wanted to share, let me see if I can put this here. These are my colors, the peppers the onions from the tower garden, and I have celery and other things from my tower garden. So we keep it simple to season it. You have lemon, you have Himalayan sea salt that has 82 nutrients, and you have our old trusty EVOO, extra, extra virgin olive oil. So I put all of these in here and I mix it and it is ready to put on the towel garden lettuce and eat. Then what I do after that is I make just one thing. This is, these are almonds, soaked almonds because these are live food. I use old glass jars because they're healthier than plastic. And I put this in the blender along with the complete shake, cocoa, and whatever frozen fruit you want, and there you go, you've got to shake. I'm well, done. We're gonna give them a little snippet of your razzle dazzle that you used out of this, this uh, the recipe book given by Juice Plus. But what we did, instead of just having a cooking show, because you may be saying, how did you guys turn this into a business opportunity? We saw what our customers needed. We gave our customers what they needed. They were readily doing a shred team, but they were struggling on the food part. So good customer service says, create a cooking show. We have two plant-based certified chefs on the team. And then we brought in another chef. And that's what I'm gonna share with you, this flyer here. We brought in a friend of mine. She is a, a chef. She loves the Tower Garden. She's a raving fan. And we started bringing in outside doctors. So that way our events appealed to people who were just interested. Maybe they didn't want to buy Juice Plus and they didn't wanna be pressured to feel like they were coming to an event to be sold something. We truly, our mission was to inspire healthy living, whether you purchased from us or not. Now I'll show you the end goal, at the, at the result at the end, because when you have good motives of truly helping people, and that's what Juice Plus is all about, it always works out in your interest. And we always had a couple of Juice Plus veterans there, Dr. Payton and Gwendolyn Payton and Dr. Uh, Reginald Fowler. So we were happy to have these doctors. So we brought quality physicians and medical professionals to share their knowledge about plant-based living, whether they represent a Juice Plus or not. And you'd be amazed. So many doctors are interested in Juice Plus now by opening ourselves up to other doctors. So don't pigeonhole yourself in. Look out for doctors who might already be interested in plant-based. 
And one of the things I do want to share with you is this short little presentation here to just show you what Charlene was just telling you, how she does these smoothies. One cup. Well, I want to make two dishes for you. So let me do the first one. Okay. Frozen bananas. Out of the skin. And I just cut it. Break it off in here. You can cut it before if you want, but I like to save time. So we've got that in there. Now, look up here. This is the shape you just saw. 13 grams of protein, eight grams of fiber. This is your powerhouse. I normally have my shake in the morning. Remember I said that I only do one salt meal a day? Mm -hmm. It's because the other meals are with this. One scoop is all you need to get that much. Now I will put in raspberries. You can put in any frozen fruit. Beautiful. I, 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 we chose raspberries for this particular one. Frozen raspberries, frozen strawberries. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of the milk in first because I'm going to make you all a treat. Yeah. You like treats and surprises. I do. Okay, shake, shake, shake. shake. Okay. Okay, let's see what we're going to get here. Okay, yes, we are. So let me show you all. We have ice cream. That is beautiful. And Sean just said, I love how you don't have to use much milk. No. You can make your make what you do and what you have stretch. That is beautiful. Oh, exactly. For the ice cream, I've got to taste this. <laughs> Believe me, I will be having one of these tonight. Look at that. That is beautiful. If that is not a milkshake, but listen, it is a protein shake and it tastes like a milkshake because it is a milkshake. So as you can see, we make it fun. <laughs> we make it fun and we have a great time. And what are some of the results that people are having? Because that is our reason for doing this program is to show you the results and help our customers, good customer service. These are just a couple of our customers who were able to do the shred tin, able to actively be a part and create habits by these healthy living events we did on Sundays. They were able to not only physically change, but have results down to cellular level because now they're able to eat right. They have simple, simple recipes. This gentleman, is a, a recent graduate of the Shred 10. He just finished his first four months and his story will blow your socks off, blow your socks off. His wife passed away uh, during the pandemic and he knew in January he needed to make a change if he wanted to continue living. So our next Sunday event will be June 7th. And uh, this was my Uber driver. When I tell you take the business seriously, Charlene and I were invited to Q School and on our way back to the airport, this is our Uber driver. He's a partner. For the last two years, doing very well health-wise and in the business. Talk to everybody. He loves the Sunday events. This is another partner that started out as a customer. Her journey is amazing. This is where she is now. She's living her best life, enjoying life. This is a bedridden person who was not able to make her own meals. Those Sunday healthy living events, now she is plant-based, cooking all of her food herself, willing herself over to the stove. She's on oxygen, so she can't cook with gas, so she has a little plate. But those Sunday events have helped her to stick to the shred tin and stick to a healthier way of eating. So we encourage you all, think outside of the box, have fun, use what is on your team, use who's on your team and have a great time. So thank you so much, Cheryl, for having Charlene and I, we appreciate it. Magnificent, magnificent girls. Uh, now I'm hungry, I've got I've got to get in there and find something, but definitely uh, the stories and, and the impact to everyone, everyone in every organization, you know, it's, 
it's hard to realize sometimes the impact that's being made when you do something that's not only joyful and financially beneficial, but really helpful to people. And one of the things you may have noticed is that people go toward uh, creativity in activities and events with things that they already like. You know, Charlene and uh, Chandria, they love cooking. Uh, we look at, you know, the others that you've heard from, uh, Babies and Bubbles, I love that because she worked, you know, her events around her life. Uh, I look at Courtney uh, and, you know, they love, uh, she's a uh, phys, uh, exercise uh, therapist, I guess you would say, and so she loves exercise. So, you know, do what you love and then just, you know, invite people to be part of that. Uh, I think that's that's huge. We're going to go now to Amanda Wright, and she's going to share a few tips with you on another avenue, which, of course, social media tips. Uh, we will always now intermix virtual uh, with live events, and it's nice to have that input from both. Amanda? Hi, Cheryl. Thanks, everyone, for having me tonight. I am Amanda Wright. If I haven't met you, I'm a National Marketing Director, and I live in Denver, Colorado. And yeah, I think we really wanted to highlight just a hot topic in social media right now and get you guys up to speed on something that's really, really a, a great way to grow your connections. And I love that I'm following all the live event ideas. Thank you guys. That was amazing. And I really think this weaves right into how do we take these live events? How do we how do we expand them? How do we market them? How do we attract even more people that are interested in healthy living? And so I'm gonna just do a really quick intro to Instagram Reels. Tell me in the chat if you're using Reels, if you have no idea what a Reel is, if you're not even, tell me where you are with this. I'd love to know, just kind of take the pulse of if you know what a Reel is, if you're using Reels, if you've never used a Reel, just let me know in the chat. And get your phone out. If you have your phone close by and you have Instagram, go ahead and get it out and open up to Instagram because I'm going to show you just a couple things. Uh, don't know what a reel is. Okay, great. Love reels, Courtney says. So I'm going to start from the beginning. And for those of you that are using reels, hopefully you'll get something out of it too and already take it to the next level. I am not an expert, you guys. I am I'm earning as I'm learning, as I hope all of you are. I go to people that are that know a little bit more than I do. I teach myself and I teach others, right? That's the best way. So if, um, if, you, if this is new for you, I encourage you to give it a go. And as soon as you can teach it to somebody else, that's how it's gonna stay in your brain. So what is an Instagram reel? Instagram, TikTok, if, you have, if you've heard of TikTok, it's a short video form of, of expressing a story. And that's what we are, right? We're storytellers. So TikTok was the first platform that did, that did this short video. Instagram said, wow, TikTok's getting a lot of users on the platform. We would like to have that, that usage on our platform. So they came up with this, this idea of Instagram Reel. So a Reel is a 15 second video that you create to tell a story, okay? And so you now have 15 seconds to share something to, to your followers on Instagram and not just your followers, but to everyone on Instagram. The reason you wanna really take a look at this now is first of all, Instagram is really rewarding those people that are doing Instagram Reels. So if you post a picture versus a real Instagram with an algorithm, it's pushing your information out, right? Every time you post something, it's pushing that information out to people. If you post a picture, it's gonna push it out to so many people. If you post a reel right now, the algorithm says, you're, 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 you're trying out these reels, Amanda, I'm gonna push your information out to just that many more people. So Instagram is gonna reward you for doing this. So that's one good reason to do it. Secondly, I think it's people's attention span are really, uh, we know they're really small right now. People, people wanna be engaged quickly and 15 seconds is a great way to grab their attention and just be able to share something very quick. Even a, even a picture right now, people get bored with. We get bored very easily because we're on social media so much, because we're on the computer so much. We have so much stimulation. So Instagram Reels is a great way to just keep people's attention. I've been loving it. I've been doing this now for a couple, I guess I started around Christmas time. My first Reel was with my dog dancing around to a Christmas carol. So nothing of value at all. But you know, I'm having fun with this, 
Okay, so I'm having fun. If I'm having fun, guess what? I'm more attractive to other people that are attracted to my energy of, hey, I don't take myself so seriously. I'm having fun with this. This is, the, I'm being creative. It's tapping into a real need of mine that I didn't actually even know I was missing. I was getting bored of doing the regular posts. So this has been a really nice creative outlet. So if you're in that area of social media, we're like, oh, I have to post again. I don't know what, what picture to use. Give this a try because I think you're really gonna have fun with it. Let me just look at my notes if there's anything else. Oh, it's a great way to add value. Okay, because you can pick a topic and add in value. And I'm going to talk about that in just a second. And you're going to meet so many new people that are into what you're into. And I'm going to give you examples of that as well. And you can speak directly to your audience, which is, which is really cool. So if you're in your Instagram, you're going to open up your Instagram. And you're going to go to the little plus sign at the bottom. So there's a plus sign. That's where you can do a post. You can do a story. You can do a reel. So go to the reels if you can, if you're following along and you're going to get to a page like this, right? And it's a video, it's a video format. And so you can either directly, um, directly record a video right now of something. So I could record a video of my dog or maybe my, my mug. Um, I could record a picture of you guys. And so I'll do that. So I'm gonna do a 15 second recording of, you know, what I'm doing right now. And then I'm gonna hit pause. And what that's doing is it's you can do multiple uh, multiple cuts of a video or you can do all one 15 second video okay i'm going to give you some ideas the other thing you can do is pre-record video which is what i love to do and share it later so let me give you an example yesterday i had a salad at a jar party at my house first one in in a year and a half I was making some dairy-free ranch dressing. So what I was doing as I was making the dressing is I was recording the little, little bits of how I was making that dressing, right? I recorded how did I put the coconut milk in, I put the dill in, I put the parsley in. So I'm making little recordings as I'm doing this and they're all saved to my phone. And then you can go back later. After people leave, um, I sat down and I made my reel later. Okay, I made, I, I combined those maybe six, seven different short videos into one video, put some wording on it, which you're going to want to do, put some wording on it, put some music to it under audio, and it creates a fun little collage of my yummy dairy-free dressing. And, and so it's a story of something that I did. It's another way of sharing uh, something that I did. And then I was able to share that to Instagram. So a couple things when you're doing story, when you're doing your reel, you want to have audio, you can do voiceover audio, which means that it's someone else's voice. And if you look at my Instagram account, it's at green juice junkie with a Y, you can see what a voiceover is. I did one today. It's using someone else's voice to be funny and add value. Okay. The, um, the, the second thing you, um, you want to do is you can add effects you can um, add, as I said, wording. So you really want to, again, create that story. And then you're gonna share it to your Instagram feed. I still have everyone, okay, I got some blank stares. You're gonna share it to your Instagram feed. So what that means is it's gonna go on your live feed for everyone that follows you to see. You're gonna write a caption and you're gonna use hashtags, okay? So your, your hashtags are gonna be where that audience that you want to reach is. So for me yesterday, my salad in a jar, my hashtags were healthy moms, healthy moms who lift weights, healthy moms who run, moms who run, um, picky eaters, salad in a jar, healthy Sunday, Sunday fun day. You get the idea. I was really targeting those people that are looking for that healthy, easy meal prep, meal prep. I'm targeting and pushing. I want Instagram to say who else on this platform is looking for a quick easy way to make a meal. And that's where my salad in a jar came in. So I was able to push that information to people. They can find me, connect with me. And there we have a relationship. We have a connection. We don't have a relationship yet. We have a connection. And guess where those connections lead? They lead to people liking me, knowing me and trusting me and eventually um, potentially becoming a customer or teammate. Okay. So um, what's your Instagram? It's at green juice chunky. I'll type it in the comments. I'm going to suggest some other people to go to because again, I'm just learning. But what I want you to think of are some, some value that you can add. Okay, here's some ideas. 
you know, three ways to improve your sleep, um, three myths about network marketing, my perfect day, um, three lower back exercises, my favorite blueberry shake, um, three nutrition tips for moms to be. Um, you guys get the idea, but you're speaking to your audience. You're speaking to what are these people that are coming to me? What can I add value on? How can I create a short, fun clip that highlights that? Use hashtags that specifically target them or that they would speak to, speak to them, and then share it to share it to your feed. Also share it to your story, if you know what that means. And, and again, this is just uh, the tip of the iceberg, guys. And then you can also share it to Facebook and into other, into other things. Okay, so I want you to give it a go. It's not gonna be perfect at first. Again, just give it a try. I want you to look up Brock Johnson, Shailene Johnson, I will put these in the comments, Virginia Kerr, and Ray Higdon. All of them do great trainings on Reels. If this intrigues you, if it sounds like something that you would be into, go get the trainings, go, go up your skill level. This is what we do in our business. We up our skill level and then go give it a try guys. So that's all I got for you. Thanks, Cheryl. Thank you so much, Amanda. And again, you know, as many ideas as there are people out there, uh, the beauty of what we do is that, you know, you can shape this around uh, your life, other people's lives with the things that you find joy in and finding joy in them, you you know, attract community uh, that is going to be like-minded. And of course, it's very baseline when you think about good health uh, and wanting to have and protect your own good health. I heard someone say the other day, at this point in time, you almost have to be your primary care physician. Uh, and so it's a wonderful way to, um, you know, interact with people today, of course, you know, we'll see people begin to do live events. And so that's wonderful because again, that enhances and strengthens community, but we'll also see people uh, who will now mix the virtual world uh, with the live event world and we'll have the best of both. So that's the beauty of it. We're gonna close now with a speaker that uh, we all admire. Uh, and, and love and helps us put these events together as well. Uh, and she's gonna have some closing thoughts for you. Her business is one that spans the globe and it's uh, Lauren Lahav. She is the Presidential Marketing Director Plus. Uh, so Lauren, I'm gonna go to you. Hi, Cheryl. Sorry, everybody that I'm uh, zooming in from the car, but uh, thank you for staying on. It was very interesting. First of all, I'm, I'd love if you all would help welcome the newest member to our YOLO team, which as you know, is YOLO, you only live once. And this extraordinary woman, her name is Dr. Kathy Tatum. And so if you would just give her some love in the chat, she has uh, put together, she has an amazing organization called Collaborating Voices and super excited for her to be a part of this beautiful family, um, the Juice Plus mission. And uh, just talking to her today, just so excited. So hi everybody, I first of all wanna acknowledge you because I was watching how many people jumped off the minute that um, Amanda started talking about reels. And it's so interesting because I think that, you know, I, I look back to my, when I started in the business in 2007, and I actually started my business on Facebook because I was teaching events. And um, at those events, I was working like 14 hour days and I had like a two hour break in the middle of each day. My daughter was only three months old and uh, my boys were a little bit older, but I was like, okay, I've got to do this business. And Facebook was just starting out. And I remember that first year doing a training and at a, at a conference and saying, all right, guys, there's 250 people, 250,000 people on Facebook. You probably need to get on. And then the next year I remember going, all right, guys, there's, there's 500,000 people now on Facebook. You probably want to jump on. And then I remember the next year, I'm like, okay, there's like a couple million people. You probably want, want to jump on and do this. And um, the way, and now there's over 2 billion people, 2 billion people that are on Facebook. And so when Amanda was just sharing, I think the one thing that we have to learn how to do is adapt to change. Because the only thing that is consistent is change. And so we have to, I think that for all of us, I saw, I think there were like a bunch of people that dropped off, but it's like, I'm so proud of all of you for staying on 
because you've got your hands up and you're like, how do I really take my business and, and help even more people? And you'll be amazed, but just like what, you know, sharing something fun on a reel of who it can affect and who it can serve and who it can help. And I was just going to take a couple minutes here and talk with you about some things that if you've, I, I hope you've all read the four agreements. Who's read the four agreements? Anybody read the four agreements? Put it in the chat if you've read the four agreements. And the four agreements for me is pretty much a foundation for my life, my values, and what we really stand for. But there's a new book that Don Miguel Ruiz has done, and it's called The Three Questions. And the first question is called, the first question is really about knowing who you are. And, you know, this is the thing that I love about the call tonight. You saw so much variety, you know, of how people do events, right? It's like the concepts are constant, which is how we do our business, which is put on customers, put on partners, share, wash, and repeat. How you do it can vary, right? Everything can change. Like some people like to do salad in the jar parties. Some people do, you know, all the things that Courtney and those guys are doing. Some people are doing it by sharing and building a brand. I know that this weekend that um, I was at the most powerful women in network marketing event, and hopefully some of you were on. And at that event, you know, everybody was sharing the different ways that they do it. Some people do it just building their business on Instagram. And what I want you to think about more than anything is really who are you? Your identity. You know, and the question, because I want you to leave here with an assignment, and this is the assignment for you, is really digging in, like, I mean, I know I'm a, a uh, how would I say, I'm a, a wild child, right? Like this weekend, I was on a panel, and on the panel, all these ladies were dressed up in these really fancy, fancy dresses, and, you know, very fancy, fancy shoes, and I'm like, I think I'm going to wear jeans and my suede jacket with fringe on it right? Because the biggest gift and that we know about this is that people join because of who we are and what we stand for. And expressing your unique identity is your biggest asset. And I want you to think about what is that identity for you? How do you really want to be seen in the world? How do you really want to be known? And think about, you know, what are some of the adjectives that would describe who you are? What does that really mean to you? So identity, because people will do anything to remain consistent with their identity. But sometimes people do it and it sabotages everything that they want. So I'm encouraging you right now to look at your 2.0 identity. If you were to look right now, like, you were to press the, you know, the reset button today, how do you really want to be seen now? You know, do you want to be a warning or do you want to be an example? Hopefully you want to be an example of what's possible. So think about for you, what does that identity, what would that person, would it be about being fit? Would it be about being focused? Would it be about legendary? Like, what would it be for you? And would it be about being, um, I don't know. I want you to think about this because I want to give you homework because I'm going to give away some prizes from this as well. And when you know who you are, when you know who you are and know that not everybody's going to love you, that's all right, right? So, but when you know who you are and you really are staying true to who you are, that builds certainty. Builds certainty. And when you have that feeling of certainty of knowing who you are, it's kind of like what Cheryl always says, when people, you imagine there's a long line of people all the way to infinity. You know, they say, no, I'm not interested three minutes ago. Thanks, move on out of the way. And you're not interested, thanks, move on out of the way. But it's that knowingness. It is our responsibility. And if you really, really want to grow, not just in your business, but in life, it's having that unshakable certainty about who you are. And when you have that certainty, it builds your authenticity like you're real and you're uh oh i think we lost her she froze she broke <laughs> um we'll see here if uh if it comes back if not i'll 
it'd be about time to close anyway. Was there a video toward the end or? No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, Courtney? Who here was part of the millionaire women got to see Lauren do her thing? I was on the whole event. This is Candace and it was fabulous. Lauren really did. She came, she brought her A game and I know I put it in the chat, but I so appreciate it that she showed up. I mean, of course, you know, hair and makeup were done, but she showed up as Lauren and Honestly, she was the most beautiful one on stage. She was awesome. I saw her. This is yeah. Sheila. She was very good. <laughs> and you guys, there is a way to um, capture those recordings. For those who want to, if you um, sign up today or tomorrow for the next big workshop that they do, the Eric Warre, it's called GoPro Virtual Event. It's December 3rd, 4th, and 5th. If you sign up for that, at a very reduced cost, um, it comes along with all the recordings of that whole powerful women in network marketing for the last three days. And I've done, I've signed up for it because it's 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 all great. So I can put that link if you'd like in the chat. It's there. Yeah, someone it's there. Did. Good for you, Erica. Yay, Thanks, Erica. Erica. <laughs> all right. So we're going to well, have Cheryl close this out uh, here. I will go ahead and. Uh, Really appreciate Lauren. She did uh, give it her best try there. I don't know uh, what happened as far as freezing, but I guess it could happen to any of us. But I think the important message is that, uh, you know, you can, the, the beauty of this business, what I've always loved, is you really can step up into uh, who you really are uh, and you can build a huge business. One of the things I'll share with you is, you know, in my life, my background was education. I was one of those people that I always, I liked education. I liked uh, what I did. I worked hard at it. I guess you would say I gave it my best would probably be the best words, but I never felt like I was truly really awake in my life until I happened on Juice Plus and the Juice Plus company. And for 33 years now, you know, it has been an evolution of not only knowledge and growth as far as our business is concerned, knowledge and growth as far as health information, but also really being able to step up into your best self. And I think that's what we truly have to offer in this profession and with this company is that, you know, it is an experience uh, where you do get to uh, show up with authenticity, uh, with the um, desire not only to serve, but be able to serve and help people do that too, to empower, empower people to be the best that they can be, to live at the highest edge of their existence. And that's what, if I look at myself, what do I want? I want to live at the highest edge of my existence, physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually, mentally, and hopefully encourage others to do the same thing. And that's really what we're about, I think, as a community, as a company. Uh, and as we were talking today, we've got the best product in the world. It's simple. It's not going out of style. And our marketing model pays more than anything out there. So if you're here for the joy and the uh, reward and the results, it's definitely available. And we invite you to uh, get with the person who invited you, if this is the first experience and seeing who we are. Uh, and if you are a partner, uh, let's really step up to not only take advantage of the best market we've ever been in. People wake up every day wanting to really enhance their health at the highest level. And people are really wanting to have that avenue to secure their financial future. And we obviously have that to offer. So it's a joy and a pleasure to uh, work with each and every one of you. Uh, I love that this that you are part of my Juice Plus family and we're part of the whole. Uh, so we will be doing these events <clears throat> every um, two months or so on Zoom uh, on this Monday night. Uh, we'll have it worked out. I think the, uh, something happened as far as the thousand lines being hacked into. So we'll have to figure out how that can't happen again. We encourage you to invite people. Uh, but our Monday night will always be the same uh, with the you know, call in Monday night. As I said, we've been doing that for over 30 years, but every two months we'll have a virtual event like this at this time. 
And so the rest of the year will be July 26th, September 27th, and November 29th. And we'll get those dates out to everybody with, you know, info as it comes, but know that we're going to meet like this in person virtually and uh, at least every two months. So everyone go out there and just share the, share the story, share the news, enjoy it, uh, invite people to participate in what you enjoy and uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna have fun and you're gonna really make a big difference in the world. It's been a pleasure and so we say good night to everybody and thanks to all of our speakers and to everybody that was part of bringing this uh, to you. Thank you all. Good night, folks. Thank night. you so Thank much. You. That was great. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.